What is Joe Biden at the border saying? Come on in. His come policies, on. like I just said, no, re that's not true. Reinstated catch and release, pulled out of Romania, Mexico. Up, what, what is false about what I'm saying? Everything. It's not just incompetence. For some reason, his administration has decided that the border has to remain open. And I, as a, a, a well-informed citizen, can only wonder why that might be. What's going on, everyone? James Klug here. Joe Biden inherited the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. And today we are experiencing the worst border crisis in American history. So do Americans hold Joe Biden accountable for this? Today I'm joined by John Doyle, and we are going to find out. John, thank you for joining me. Are you ready to get going? Yeah. Let's go talk to some people. Huge shout out to our friends over at Allegiance Gold for sponsoring this video. You guys, is Joe Biden responsible for the border crisis? Yes or yes. no? Yes? We got a yes. Yes. He's the president, so he's responsible. What about this gentleman? He's got an opinion on the sign. Is this guy responsible or what? Is this border crisis? What's going on, you know? Is it his fault, the border crisis? Always his fault. Always. All right. So true, right. sir. Yes. 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 Okay. We got a lot of yeses today. What's the border crisis? The border crisis is that our southern border is wide open. We've got literally tens of millions of people flooding in. We don't know who they are, where they're coming from. I just don't think that you can maintain the sovereignty and autonomy of a nation with that sort of immigration policy. Do you think the border crisis is Joe Biden's fault? No. Of course not. Of course not. Sir, do you, do you mind if we ask you why you think so? Uh, do you mind if we ask you why you don't believe so? And why people are... It was. It's been a problem. You know, I would even be willing to say 30 years ago it was maybe more of a border, uh, a border quagmire, a border situation. But now I think it's escalated such that it is a border crisis, which is why it's in red to imply the severity of the situation. <laughs> it's so, been so going what? on for how long? Uh, uh, there's how long the, long this long? current border crisis. Yeah. Uh, since current. like 2021. Why do you say there's a current one when it's been going on for? Well, probably 100 years. Yeah, immigration's always been kind of a problem for the United States, but when we're talking about the border crisis, we're talking about what's happening right now. So you don't hold them responsible? No. To an extent, I blame the last 30 to 40 years of leadership in this country. You want to talk about it? Yeah, sure, why not? So the last 30 to 40 years, just meaning it's basically been an issue for a long time. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why the U.S. military is not along the border. It's always been my position. You can't hold one person responsible for a... The he's commander in chief in charge of enforcing federal law. He's probably not helping a lot right now, but he's not responsible for all of it, right? You have a problem with the people that are crossing the border, with your lawns and doing your repairs and everything. Do I have a problem with if you're saying should I support illegal immigration if they're doing the lawn services? Yeah, the lawn services, all our construction and everything like that. I I, I think usually we would like to see uh, Americans getting jobs. I think that every president that in office is trying to do the best they can. I don't know if I could say that he is responsible for the border crisis. So why do you think it's it's not his fault? What do you think he could be doing to, uh, I mean, what do you think is out of his hands, would you say? You know, I don't know. I, don't, I think his hands are probably tied. I'm not sure that he could do anything. I'm not sure what he can do, really. When it comes to mass immigration, yeah, I think you need to have increased security. Do I blame Biden for it? Somewhat. Do I blame Trump for it? Somewhat. Do I blame Obama? Somewhat. I don't think one person is responsible for any crisis that happens. Right. So Regardless always... of who the blame fully rests on, don't you agree that he has the power as the commander in chief to get the border under control right I'm now? I'm pretty sure he does. And why he doesn't is another question. When it comes to uh, Joe Biden, he can actually fix the border tomorrow by just enforcing the laws. I think he's already tried to, to do some things and he got stopped, right? He got stopped? Yeah. No, it's the people trying to enforce the border in Texas that are being stopped by Biden sending his lawyers no, to stop no, them. He, he tried to negotiate and had a deal on the table and they said no. Joe Biden inherited a 45 low of illegal crossings. Uh, we now have the worst border crisis in American history. Week one, halted yeah. construction of the border wall, pulled out what of the... Think, oh, really quick, let me finish. Joe Biden is going to solve the problem? Let me, let me finish really quick. Yeah. He pulled out of the Remain in Mexico agreement yeah. and then re, uh, reinstated catch and release. Yeah. Those three things is why the crisis is out of control right now. Do you think the president or the minister of Israel is responsible for the war? Well, we're, we're talking about uh, Joe Biden and, and our person, border right now, though. One person is not responsible for the border crisis. He, Whether he, it's Joe Biden or any other person in the United States. 
All right, you guys, let's take a few moments to talk about today's sponsor, Allegiance Gold. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you're well aware that I think Bidenomics is a complete disaster. Biden's overspending and overprinting of money alone are two main reasons that Americans have been seeing skyrocketing inflation over the last few years. And many are faced with having to work a decade longer than they wanted or are coming out of retirement due to an extremely volatile and uncertain market. That's why many of my viewers are investing in gold because the value of gold runs counter to the effects of Bidenomics. Whether you prefer physical gold and silver or simply want to protect your IRA or 401k, you can trust the specialists at Allegiance Gold who have the highest trust ratings in the precious metals industry. They've been sponsoring the channel for well over a year now, so I know them well at this point. Their relationships are based on integrity, expertise, and impeccable service. Go to protectwithklug.com today and download my free wealth protection guide. It'll tell you everything you need to know about gold, or you can give them a call at 866-335-KLUG. That's 866-335-KLUG. Also, get up to $5,000 in free silver on a qualifying purchase. Call them today day, you guys, and begin your stress-free journey toward financial freedom, go to protectwithclue.com. That is protectwithclue.com or call 866-335-CLUG. Let's get back into this video. Do you know what? how many crossed last month? Uh, it was like 20,000? 20,000? No, no, 300 302,000 people. I mean, it doesn't surprise me, you know? I mean, it's, it's not monitored. You know, our, our military and funding should be going towards the border, among other things. Yeah. But Biden said he's willing to shut down the border. I read uh, online, as long as the Republicans pass this bill. Yeah. Do you know what's in that bill? No, I've not read it. Yeah. Why do you think there needs to be more funding to protect it, the border? Uh, because the only way you're going to be able to finance what I would believe needs to have a military strip along the border. I mean, that's going to cost, you got to pay salaries for all the soldiers, equipment, etc. That's going to have to cost at least a couple hundred million. Right. You know what it is? It's when everybody wants one thing to be done in the government, then they'll just sell it their whole souls out just so they'll have a bargaining chip. I don't care. Just, hey, he's doing he's doing fine. I'm miss. doing I'm doing okay. He's doing I don't great. Like it. <laughs> she, I'm a Trump, don't worry about it. <laughs> is she is she not? Is your wife not? Definitely not. A house it's, divided. It's a complicated problem, you realize that, right? Yeah. You got people coming from other countries that are persecuted, that have a very low standard of living. Well, they want to come here to the United States because yeah. Joe Biden's letting them in. What, is Joe Biden at the border saying, "Come on in"? His come policies, on. like I just said, no, re that's not true. Reinstate a catch release, pulled out of Romania, Mexico. Up, what, what is false about what I'm saying? Everything. One person cannot be in charge of a border crisis. It's literally the federal government's job it's to protect the border. It's a multifaceted issue yeah. where all kinds of people, politics, government, big business. It's all, it's all part of the issue. Yeah. So you're saying, oh, but it's one person. It's not one person. Well, he overturned the policies that were it's, working it's under Trump. It's naive to think one person could be responsible for yeah. the border crisis. Yeah. Doyle, do you blame Joe Biden for the border crisis that we're seeing right now or no? It's actually very funny you ask. I do blame Joe Biden for the border <laughs> crisis, being that he is the chief executive of the country. I mean, he oversees the bureaucracy, the Department of Homeland Security, the institutions that would be in charge of securing the border and he is refusing to enforce the federal law that's on the books and he's literally allowing these people to come over and he is also and i think the first week of his administration he undid a lot of the trump era policies uh, such as you know the remain in mexico policy for example and now the resources that he is directing towards the southern border are because states like texas have said okay well the federal government isn't doing their job we're going to have to maintain the security of the nation and secure the border and he's now threatening to send federal police down but to stop Texan police and Texan rangers from doing that. So it's not just incompetence. For some reason, his administration has decided that the border has to remain open. And I, as a, a, a well-informed citizen, can only wonder why that might be. What do you guys think about that? Have you heard about this? Have you heard about any of this that he just brought up right there? A little bit, not too much, to be quite honest. Have you? No, I haven't. VP uh, Kamala Harris said that what they needed the border is more funding to go to more asylum judges to process these people. Uh, basically deal with the people coming in and where the Biden administration has reclassified the definition of an illegal alien to not take into account people who come and say the magic words in English that they would need asylum because they're fleeing, then they're good to go. The Obama administration too reclassified the definition of deportation to say, well, we turn you away at the border, but we don't even do that now. Yeah. But he is right. This has been going on for decades. Yeah. Public opinion polling has always been very negative on this issue, but the Uniparty, no matter who's in power, be it Clinton, Bush, but Biden, Obama, you've always had mass immigration from the southern border and nobody's been able to do anything about it because the people who pull the strings in this country know that their power is more secure when they've got a bunch of people coming in, tens of millions from the third world.
Okay. Sure. I would. I will say, with Kamala's opinion on the judicial system, she's right in that the court system needs more funds. I'm an attorney myself. Mm. I believe the immigration courts are underfunded. So let's say you did want to apply for citizenship, it might actually take years to get a hearing. Uh, and there's just not enough judges. There's not enough judges in the civil system, immigration, even the criminal system. So she's probably right to some extent that there needs to be How would that reduce funds. it? Well, then you would it have sounds a, like you're facilitating it in that way. Well, you'd have to have a fact finder to see if they're legitimate or not, right? So, you know, if you're going to say this person claims to be an asylum, well, then they have to have a process for determining whether they qualify or not, and that's where judges come in. And by the way, the Senate bill that we were talking about, that, that yeah. Joe Biden's been talking about, is a cap uh, yeah. of 5,000 people per day. That's 1.8 million a year. Yeah. That is not, a, not a reduction. I'm for reduced immigration. <laughs> I think we're overpopulated. So I don't. True. I'm not saying let them in. But there, there's some shades of gray in all areas here. You yeah. know, I mean, the court system's underfunded. Well, well by the true. way, we're talking about illegal immigration. We're not talking about legal immigration. Yeah. Here. Legal is one million a year. Just that's sure. that's how it is. We're talking about on top of that, yeah. what's being allowed. You know, it takes the whole Congress and a Senate to really get something done, and that's what they're trying to scratch each other's back. To I'll I'll vote for this and you vote for that if we can do that. It's just a big. Um, shell game with these guys. Well, the president controls the Department of Homeland Security and the laws are on the books and Joe Biden has actually used pen strokes to stop them from enforcing those laws. So literally, I mean, by tomorrow, Monday, the first business day of the week, we could undo that and have uh, Border Patrol actually being allowed to do what they're supposed to be doing. And even the Border Patrol agents largely say, yeah, we're told to stand down, our hands are totally tied. So he could undo that. I mean, the Senate, the Congress, they pass the laws. All he has to do is enforce them. That's what the executive is supposed to do. And that's possible, yeah. I think they ought to let uh, Texas do what Texas does, you know, let the states take care of their own problem. Mm. But this or it's a lot more complicated. I agree with the last guy. Let Texas deal with it. And the federal government going down there to allow people to violate federal laws around immigration, probably not a good idea. Uh, there's no doubt he's responsible. He could stop it in one day if he wants to. All he wants to do is process people in and keep the Texas Rangers from protecting the border. The Rangers have just begun processing people. He removed the policies that were working under Donald Trump and now we have this crisis, 10 times the amount of immigration that Donald Trump had. We didn't have immigration under Donald Trump. We had about 30,000 a month, 40,000 a month. Last month we just saw 300,000 illegally crossing the southern border. And you know what? Maybe that'll make a difference. Maybe that'll get more people's attention to solve the crisis. Well, right? you could by just enforcing the laws that are well, on the don't books. Don't you think that's a natural byproduct of what's happening? He he could stop it by just enforcing the no, laws on the books. Think he's, they're not enforcing the laws on the books. The problem has to get worse before it gets better. What do you think about the people that are saying Biden has nothing to do with it? It's not his fault at all. What do you think about that response that we're getting today? Come on, man. Customs or border protection falls under federal government falls on the president. I mean, he absolutely, he, whether it's good or bad, yeah, the president's got to own that, right? That's not a state issue. That's a federal issue. Got to enforce the laws. Uh, so Texas is trying matter, to do, so Texas is trying to do that right time, now. Right? Yeah. It's a matter of time. Out? Texas is trying to enforce the border right now. Joe yeah. Biden, well, don't, uh, don't interrupt. Let me finish yeah. this. Donald Trump, uh, Joe Biden sent his lawyers to sue Texas to prevent them from protecting the border. How do you explain that? Yeah. I don't know, personally. <laughs> I think maybe we should take care of these people. All of them? All of them. Import all the people that want to come, bring them over, put them in housing, feed them, clothe them, take care of them, yes. Are you doing that with your own place? Are you are you bringing anyone in and taking care of them? my own children, how about you? Do you got no, kids? No, illegal immigrants. Well, they haven't sent any to Huntington Beach yet, have they? Would you house them if they, if yeah, they came out? You would? Yeah, for sure. John, what do you think about that? He says just open borders. So, so now you're say, now you're telling a little bit more of the truth. Yeah, that's that's well, you have to look. You you have to interview them. You have to find out their background. That's not what's happening right now. No, I know, and it's a shame, isn't it? It's a shame. Well, it'd be it'd be, it'd be I know. less of a shame if we I'm just enforce federal what's law. What's happening now is good. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Why are they going after uh, Texas for enforcing the southern border? How does that make sense? To, my, to like the basic level understanding knowledge that I have. I know Texas is a rest state, and I know that a lot of the policies that have been implemented, even the past five years, and just like a lot of the leaders that they have in general, are not things that he would agree with or policies that would align with his beliefs. So I think that- You see it as a sabotage campaign for them because they disagree with him? Absolutely. I think because he doesn't agree with them and because they're trying to take things in another direction, he's probably going to try to stop that. 
as best as he knows how and that his team knows how. We're doing our construction. You, you want to have any problems yeah. working in outside of Home Depot and stuff like that? They, yeah. They, they do phenomenal work. Of course. I totally agree with that. Mm -hmm. Should they come here legally or should they come here illegally? Yeah, but they, they can make, they, they'll make a way. Okay, there's, there's programs now to help them get in here now. And I have clients that are helping them do that. Right. They have a, there's a program, a center in Santa Ana right now that someone just, um, one of my clients helped open up to help people get doc their documentation. Yeah. So it can be happen. It can happen. Yeah. Okay. So you're okay with people uh, illegally entering the country then, you would say, because yeah. they do your lawn work? Yeah, not because they just do my lawn work, but I'm just saying. Construction we, workers. Yeah, construction work and all of our, our, our labor. All of our labor. Because guess I what? I don't know but, if they do all of our labor. Is no, that but, necessarily but the case? A lot of it. You know, you have to review who's coming in for sure, right? You don't I, want we, we can agree criminals and drug addicts and... And whatever you don't want people that are gonna uh, that are bad people. Yeah, and I'll just yeah. want to describe them as bad people. Right? Another issue with the border crisis right now, honestly, man, is the fact that there's so many people overwhelming border patrol. Cartels are having the easiest time getting across people that aren't supposed to be in the country and bringing over drugs. So last year we just hit a peak yeah. of 112,000 fentanyl overdoses. Yeah, That's because car cartels are in complete control of the southern border yeah. under Joe Biden. And how do you stop that? You enforce the law. Yeah. I'm completely Trump 2024, so I'm, I'm ready for it. And you're gonna be voting too. For Trump, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to figure out if people think that the border crisis is Joe Biden's fault. Do you think so? I think so. What is going on in Southern California? You were speaking so highly of it. I honestly did not expect to see so many beautiful people unbothered by the, the turmoils of everyday politics. They don't need to know all the facts like we do. They're just like, no, this is not working. It's like, this is awesome. This is like what you need. It's, it's kind of like a, a te check the temperature and just say, yeah, no, uh, this isn't good. Yeah. This, this is bad. Yeah, this is bad news what we're seeing like, right now. We're like seething every day, like refreshing, making sure we know all the facts. And they're just like going about their Sunday, just, no, this probably is not a good idea. Should probably change this. It's so true. What do you think about uh, fakers like E. Jean Carroll appropriating trauma for profit, whereas someone like yourself has gone through serious trauma and has see, received no attention, let alone settlement funding? Wow.